gateway to liberation. No, there isn't a gateway. <laughs> there isn't a gateway. But to suggest the idea of there being a gateway is, is linked or married to the idea that there's a path. If there's a gateway, there must be a path leading to it, or there must be an approach. There's, there's a new uh, fangled idea out around now, uh, based mainly on self-inquiry. There's a lot of apparently non-dual teachers in the world. Uh, the only interesting thing is that non-duality can't be taught, but there are a lot of non-dual teachers. And one of the things they call um, a, a, a process called self-inquiry, mainly, is that they, they put a heading over it called the direct approach, mm -hmm. as though the other approaches are indirect, but there is a way in which you can directly approach your own absence. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and so, in, in some sense or other, you know, the idea is introduced that you can ask the question, who am I, and so on. But, of course, that's all based on the idea that there is someone who can choose to ask the question, who am I? Which again is a fallacy. I've wasted a lot of time though. Yeah, I, I, I did that as well, yeah. But I, I went in for all of that and I also tried to stay in awareness. You know, um, have you tried that? This one? You can do it for up to three minutes sometimes. And then three weeks later you go, oh God, I haven't been aware for three weeks. Oh God, I must try harder, you know. It's like being in the now, you know. Same thing. It's just ridiculous. But it's very attractive to the mind. And of course, the other wonderful thing about the direct approach is there's some idea that you can move, even the word approach is a movement towards something. If you're moving towards what you're looking for, where, where do you, how far do you leap, you know, and what? But the very movement of moving forward is already what is. So, it's a policy.